welcome to week nine. Um, so that plant that's down there at the bottom of the stump, funny story about that, that's a spider plant that my sister had at her place. And she's like, it has fungus gnats. And I was like, oh, I'll take it home and take care of it. And then I proceeded to leave it in the car for like two super hot days. So I think I cooked it. I don't know. I'm still trying to save it. We'll see. Hopefully she doesn't see this again. I doubt she even watches these, so it doesn't matter. Um, I did figure out what this dang bush is. It's a uh, Japanese rose, and I hate it. <laughs> so I'm going to be looking into um, taking it out or something, replacing it with something cuter, because it's just like, I don't, I don't know. It kind of looks like it's just a giant weed, and it's messy, and I don't dig it. Um, this, uh, Boston fern is so much happier, but it's starting to get these little burns on them, so, I don't know, it's looking alright. It's good. That's fine. <laughs> this sunflower head is a lot lower now since, uh, since this video has been recorded. I don't think I can stand under it anymore without hitting my head. And this little sunflower that came up, I noticed that it's got these little side shoots, not sh side shoots, but like these little buds in the elbows or the corner thingy, whatever, I don't know, that part of the flower. Look at that! Does that mean it's gonna flower there too? I don't know. Honestly, like the last couple of days, it's been pretty chilly out and I don't understand what's happening. It's making me really sad. Like, yes, I'm tired of the heat, but I'm not ready for the cold yet. I've actually been doing a little bit better about like keeping a fertilizing schedule. Um, I have some Alaskan fish fertilizer that I've been using for my loofah and um, various other plants that uh, I figured could do some good with fertilizing. I don't know. I did trim this peach tree down and I'm hoping that it helps shape it a little bit better. So we'll see. Maybe I killed it, I don't know. As you can see, I like to be as real as possible and I leave my mess out when I record. I don't try to clean anything around because I feel like that's silly and I'm only doing it to make you think that I keep it that way. And I don't. Check out my squash bugs. Um, this pumpkin vine grew one pumpkin, shriveled it up, and then died. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what happened to that pumpkin. I do know what happened to that pumpkin. I overwatered it. And then it died. A couple of weeks ago, I actually accepted the fact that I was possibly only growing this loofah vine for sport because I didn't see any fruit on it at all. And I was doing the dishes the other day and I noticed on the dang sheet that I got with these loofah seeds, it says that I should start to fertilize with fish and kelp to promote flowering and fruiting. And I didn't start that until maybe two weeks ago. I don't remember if I mentioned that in the last video, but if I did, I'm sorry. Here it is again. I'm really mad at myself that I didn't notice that until now, but... We'll see. <laughs> we'll see where these go. Ah. I've definitely not picked stuff from this garden as often as I should have. I uh, will tell you that picking stuff from the garden um, promotes more fruiting. So if you feel like maybe your stuff's taking a little long to ripen, 
tomatoes will ripen off of the vine. So if they're green with like yellowish or yellow, like turning red already, you can take them off, bring them inside and they will ripen in the window and they'll taste just as good. Um, and that will let the plant focus on, you know, growing some other stuff. These peppers ended up really small. Like the peppers themselves are really short. Um, not these, these are the serranos, but I mean the jalapenos. Yeah. I'm not really sure if it was... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know! <laughs> the poblanos are looking pretty good. They're a little short, but... I mean, they're, they're growing. I actually have peppers this year. Last year, I got one pepper, and then that was it. <laughs> Out of three plants. And this year, I was like, okay, last year I got one pepper with three plants, so this year I'll do five plants, and maybe I'll get four peppers. <laughs> Is that gardening math? <laughs> oh, no. Um, I did figure out the characteristics of my spicy peppers here they are let me tell you that first one is a ghost pepper because it's a long boy this one here uh is a reaper carolina reaper question mark <laughs> yes okay carolina reaper and then this is a scorpion pepper and I remember because the reaper is like wrinkly oh, or wow. whatever, and the scorpion has this like little thing, you know, like a, a little, yeah. So that's, <laughs> that's how I'm figuring my peppers out. I have not cooked any of these eggplants. I will be completely honest with you. I've been growing eggplants all summer and I have not eaten one. Remember when I said that I wasn't going to stake those because I'm too lazy? Ha ha! Look who is not lazy. I actually did end up staking those and I used some weeds to um, tie them to the stakes because I didn't have anything to tie them with. My carrots did not grow well. Um, I'll show what happened with them in another video because I don't feel like dealing with it right now. Um, this broccoli is like double the size at this point. I want to say maybe. Maybe. Yeah. It's double. But it's growing. I grew broccoli. I don't think this is going well. <laughs> but it's growing. I'll be honest, my collard greens, I usually use those as like a bowl to pick raspberries and then I'll bring them inside. I usually line my bowls with my collard greens. And these Brussels sprouts, I really don't think they're gonna do the thing. I don't know what I did wrong. I don't know. But they're not Brussels sprouting. Oh, see, what I'm doing now actually is trying to remember that I need to leave space. <laughs> because I do this thing where I overcrowd. I know I talk about it all the time. I overcrowd my garden, and that's probably what it is. They're like, get away from me! I'm trying to grow! And it, it has no room. So, yeah... See, I feel like I should have, I should have, I should have Brussels sprouts, I know. But I don't. What did I do? I don't know. sorry this is so scattered. I am very overwhelmed this week and I just, I, I'm, I'm getting this out. That's what I'm doing. You have a wonderful day. Love ya. Bye.